what's up big gang welcome back to the channel it's your boy robo and i'm back with another video guys so guys today i'm here i'm going to do um a comparison the iphone 13 pro max versus the canon m50 and i'm actually gonna use the kit lens that came with a camera as well um but i normally i normally use this can um lens but this lens um is for the other camera which is my wife camera by the way um that's a uh, canon i believe it's called a canon rebel t3 camera and this lens is for that camera so i normally use this lens and the canon m50 but before you can use this lens you need to buy um a lot of adapter thingy and so you can use the camera I'm gonna probably try to insert um, the adapter thing that I'm talking about so you can use it on the Canon M50 okay guys um, but for now we're gonna do a comparison the iPhone 13 Pro Max versus the Canon M50 with the kit lens and um so guys what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do all the settings on the canon m50 when i say settings meaning if i film in 4k you're gonna see i say 4k and i'm gonna also put down below in the video that i shoot in 4k with the canon m50 or the iphone 13 pro max i'm gonna do all the settings i wasn't gonna do the progress settings on the iphone because I know that shit is very amazing. But like I said, I'm gonna use all the settings and the, the video settings on the Canon M50. And also I'm gonna do the all the video settings on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So guys, enough with the long talking, let's jump into the video. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna stop this video and then I'm gonna um, switch over to the Canon M50 also guys I'm not using no um, external mic so what you hear is what you get what you see is what you get I'm not trying to do nothing extra just because maybe um, you, you got Christmas coming around uh, maybe someone probably trying to see if they can get a camera but they probably trying to look at this one and they don't want to go out of their way to buy extra stuff because they're just gonna basically start. So it's just gonna be the regular mic, no um, external microphone, same thing for the iPhone. And um, you guys be the judge and see if you would try to spend the money for this right here. And um, who knows? Or maybe you just wanna use your phone to make your YouTube videos, I don't know. But this camera is a really pretty nice camera. The only reason why I stop using it is because I wear glasses. And um, sometimes when I adjust the zoom in or zoom out, or the focus or no focus, when I make the video, it kind of look blurry to me. I don't know, maybe it's just my eyes, but whenever I do make a video on this, it tends to look blurry to me so that's why I stopped using this and I basically start using before I was using the Samsung 21 Ultra but I'm not trying to make a long video guys so I'll be right back I'm gonna hook this bad boy up on the ring light and then I'm gonna do all the settings on this one and then do the all the settings on the iPhone 13 Pro Max and you guys be the judge so I'll be right back guys okay guys I'm back um this is 4k on the Canon M50 EOS and um, you guys can be the judge and let me know what you think um, the only now I remember why I don't use in the kit lens guys but um, if you can't afford like lenses and stuff I think the kit lens um, the quality is pretty good the only problem is like when I'm all the way back here if I want to like play with the front a little bit to get it to focus more on me and maybe blurry the background it can't really do that this is just basically um, 
you screw the, the kit lens and the camera and you just start hit you just hit record and that's it so now I remember why I don't like using the kit lens on the camera um, the Canon M50 but anyway guys uh, this is 4k um, let me know what you think about the 4k um, on the Canon M50 also guys I think I did pay for this camera I believe I pay maybe around six or seven something and it was basically a kit meaning it come with like a SD card it come with something like it come with a bunch of accessories guys um I'm not trying to make a long video so I will try to get all the links as possible because it's been a while since I purchased this camera but I stopped using it because like I said whenever I try to make a video with this um, with this lens right here it kind of look blurry to me but you guys be the judge and let me know what you think about the 4k with the kit lens and I'm not using no external microphone either so I'm about to stop this video and I'm gonna go to the next settings this is 4k guys okay and then I'm gonna do the same thing for the iPhone 13 Pro Max I was trying not to make a long video but I think this video is gonna be a little bit long so this is 4k on the Canon M50 I'm gonna stop the video and go to the next settings I'll be right back okay guys I'm back um, so right now I'm shooting in uh, fully HD 23.98 um, frames rate per second hopefully I'm pronouncing that right <laughs> I'm bad with words guys but I write down all the settings that I'm gonna I'm about to do and um, the next one is fully HD 23.98 frames per rate seconds or something like that hopefully you guys understand me so that's what I'm shooting in right now and I'm gonna try to switch over real quick because I'm not trying to make a long video also I got to do the same all the settings on the iPhone 13 Pro Max so I repeat that's fully HD 2.3 nine eight frames per a second hopefully I'm pronouncing that correct so that's the next one I already showed in 4k so I'm about to stop this real stop this video real quick and then switch over to the next one so okay guys I'm back again uh, the next um, one is fully HD 59.94 frames per a second so full HD 59.94 frames per rate a second or something like that hopefully I'm saying it right but you guys get the drift okay so that's the next one I'm gonna do the same procedure stop this video real quick and head to the next one we got like uh, two more to go so I did the 4k I did the the next one and now I'm going to the next one okay okay guys now we are shooting in sorry for looking down I write down the stuff on a piece of paper so I won't forget and be guessing and try to make a long video so the next one is fully HD 29.97 uh, frames rate per second hopefully I'm saying that right yo because I know I was saying it earlier correct but now it looks like I messed up well you guys know the drift where I'm trying to come from okay so it's fully HD point 20 fully HD 29.97 frames rate per second there we go so we 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 on that one so I'm about to do the last one right now guys I'm about to do the last one and I'm gonna switch over to the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Sorry, I'm moving so fast is because I don't want to make a long video. So let's do this. Okay, guys, I'm back again. Uh, so this is the final settings, video settings for the Canon M50, and this one is gonna be HD 59.94 frames rate per.
for a second. Hopefully I'm getting that right. So that's the last video settings on the um, Canon M50, okay? So now we are about to stop this video and we're gonna jump over to the iPhone 13 Pro Max and we're gonna basically do the same thing. I'm gonna try to move as fast as possible so my video won't be long. But I'm not gonna lie, I, I think I like the kit lens. No, I'm kind. I'm, I know I'm kind of blind, but um, <laughs> now I'm looking at the kit lens. Everything basically look clear, and um, I can see myself really good. So now I'm wondering if I should just stick to the kit lens and stop. I mean, I still need to go get my eye check and change my glasses. Sorry to be saying that in the video because I don't want to make a long video, but. The kit lens is pretty decent and pretty good. So um, let's jump over to the iPhone anyway guys. So let's do this. I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. Now I'm using the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And um, right now we are video in, um, in HD 30 frames per second. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correct guys. If I'm not, can say I'm not pronouncing it correct and you guys be the judge like I said before and leave some comment down below and let me know what you think about the iPhone 13 Pro Max versus the Canon M50 so let's jump to the next settings which is gonna be HD 60 frames per second so let's do this guys I'll be right back we are back again and right now we are shooting in uh, HD 60 frames per second and let me know what you think about the quality I know my glasses is a little bit um, smudgy too so don't mind my glasses it's just because I keep on have to push my glasses up on my face because it keep on falling down but you guys we are filming HD 60 frames per second on the iPhone 13 Pro Max so now we are going to head over to the 4K settings and like I said before guys, whenever I, well you're going to hear what I, when I say but I'm still going to put the name that we are video in, in. Um, like for example right now I was doing the HD 60 frames per second, you're going to see the name pop up, each time I call something you're going to see the name pop up, okay, so let's go to the 4k so right now we are video in 4k 20 24 uh, frames rate per second hopefully I'm saying that right guys <laughs> please don't kill me hopefully I'm saying that correct 4k 24 frames per second hopefully I'm saying that correct so we are about to go to the next settings which I believe is gonna be 30 but you're gonna, you guys gonna hear me say in the video regardless. And then the next one is 60. So let's do this. 4K, 30 frames rate per second. So let's do this, guys. This is 4K. Let me write it down so I don't forget. 30 frames per rate per second. Hopefully I'm saying that correct. So we are filming in. 4K, 30 frame, 30 frame rate per second. Hopefully I get that right. I keep on saying that. <laughs> Guys, just leave some comment down below if I'm saying it correct, okay? And now we're gonna go to the last setting which is gonna be 4K, 60 per rate, um, 60, whatever, whatever. You, you guys understand the drifts, but I'm gonna put them whatever I say in the video guys. So let's, and I'm using the iPhone. Don't forget, I'm using the iPhone, okay? So let's do this. Okay, one more time. We are filming in 4K, 60 per frame rates per second. Okay, okay. 4K, 60 frame rates per second. Hopefully I get that right. <laughs> And that's all the 4K settings right there. 
we are going to do cinematic mode which I'm not really a big fan of but sometimes it makes your video look very nice especially with the blur background but I might tweak the, um, the cinematic mode a little bit just because I don't want my body or my face to look blurry I want the background to be blurry so we are going to go into the cinematic mode I don't think I'm gonna do the ultra wide lens or the other lens I might just do the regular um, cinematic but you guys be the judge and let me know what you think with all of these settings I know the Canon M50 don't got all of that special settings but I said I'm gonna do all the settings for both and that's what I'm gonna do so let's jump to it okay guys we are back right now we are in cinematic mode on the iPhone 13 Pro Max and um, you know at the top of the screen when you're using the cinematic mode you see a lot of F um, once you click on that F it's gonna um, let you do like it's supposed to make your background blurry so right now we are at 2.8 um, but I heard at well I heard people say um, f 5.6 is perfect to get um, a blurry background but I just leave it on um, 2.8 so you guys can see the background is blurry okay um you guys can be the judge and let me know what you think um but like i said before guys f 5.6 is perfect i'm not sure if you're gonna get the blurry blur background but they say f 5.6 is perfect but we are doing f 2.8 right now um guys i'm gonna stop this video again and we are gonna do the three times because right now we are in one time one times um, on the cinematic mode so we are gonna stop this video and we are gonna do the three times okay I will be right back okay guys we are back same cinematic mode um, we are at uh, three times and what the three times does is bring the object closer to the camera also guys I leave it on the f 2.8 when I switch to the three times but it automatically change the f to 4.5 when you when you go on three times so hopefully that makes sense so whenever I switch from the one times on the cinematic mode to the three times it switch from f or it switch from 2.8 4.5 and that's to get the background blurry and what like I said before um, what the uh, three times does is bring the object closer to the camera I know you guys can't see it but I'm all the way back here <laughs> and um, it look like I'm in the middle of the camera or close to the camera you guys are gonna see it in the video but um that's about it guys um, uh, don't forget to like share comment and subscribe but I got one more setting for you guys, which is gonna be the ProRes. And um, I wasn't gonna do the ProRes because I know the Canon M50 can't compete with ProRes. And the Canon M50 don't got that setting. But I said, I'm gonna do all the settings and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do all the settings. So, so we're gonna stop this video and we are about to jump to the ProRes on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So I'll be right back guys. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, this is the final settings for the iPhone 13 Pro Max apart from slow motion and, and time lapse. So right now we are in ProRes. We are filming in ProRes. And you, to get the ProRes, you have to um, click up the top where you have the 4K and stuff. And um, you have to go on HD 30 to let the ProRes work. You can't go on 60, it won't work because they say um, ProRes. ProRes is not um, supported by the 60 yet. So yeah, we are filming in ProRes, 30 frames per rate a second. Hopefully I'm saying that right again. But this is the final settings. Um, the Canon M50 
don't got that settings but I use the settings before and I know the setting is amazing so you guys be the judge and let me know what you think about the Canon M50 versus the iPhone 13 Pro Max and we are filming in ProRes the 30 frame rate per second hopefully I'm saying that correct guys you know you guys know the drift on what I'm trying to say okay guys that's the last of the video you guys be the judge leave some comment um who knows maybe christmas is coming up you want to start a youtube channel and you don't know if you want to use your phone or you want to try to go buy this canon m50 like i said before guys i believe this camera camera at the time was maybe around six seven something i forgot because i get the kit with it which um which come with a bunch of accessories which i don't really use but yeah guys um that's about it i'm not trying to make a long video i know i keep on saying that but um yeah don't forget to like share comment and subscribe peace i'm out oh guys before i go i forgot to mention one thing sorry i didn't take my glasses off for the rest of the video so hopefully you guys can see my face um okay but um, it's after I was messing around with some of the video. I see the ring light was showing in my grass. So sorry about that. And one more thing, guys. Um, with the ProRes, it take up a lot of memory. So if you want to go ahead and maybe upgrade and get some more space, feel free to do so. But what I do is try to delete some of the stuff off my phone and put on the computer. But the ProRes take a lot of memory, but um, it lets your video show super clean. So that's about it, guys. That's the two things I need to mention. ProRes take a lot of memory. So peace. I'm out again.